Hi everybody, welcome back to Lush Topia where we talk about all things Lush or if you're new here, welcome. I hope you stick around for a while. Today I've got a little unboxing for you guys. Well, it's not really an unboxing, it's already unboxed. So if you want to see what I got in this little haul, just keep on watching. I got one, two, three, four, five products here and I've wrote down some of the main ingredients and whatnot. So I've got that wrote in front of me so I can tell you guys what is in each thing, what it's good for, that type of thing. So, we'll start off with Cold Face, that is a facial soap that I bought. And I've had this in a small sample size, but it's, it wasn't really big enough for me to use continuously and see if it actually worked or not. So, and I've actually cut it in half because I used it last night. So it's this size originally, but I've actually cut it in half so that I can use this, keep this fresh, so that I'm not using, you know, the full thing. So this is called the Cold Face Facial Soap and it was £8.50. It says you can use it on your face and body. The main ingredients in this is charcoal, licorice root and rosewood oil. So the licorice root is supposed to soften your skin, the rosewood oil is an antiseptic and the charcoal absorbs excess oil. So since, as I say in every video, I have acne prone skin, this should be good for my skin but as I said I'm not too sure because I've never actually used it before, like continuously. If you've used, have used Cold Face before and it worked out for you, please let me know in the comments down below so I can read them and see what you guys think. So yeah, that is the cool face, um, it does, the main scent I get from this is the licorice root, but I, I don't really think it's a bad smell by all means, I don't get the rosewood oil at all, and maybe the charcoal, I don't really know what charcoal smells like so I couldn't tell you, but yeah for £8.50 I think this is actually going to be quite good because it's quite a big chunk if you can see how thick that is. So if you do get it, I do recommend maybe chopping it into bits so that you're not using the full thing because it would be a lot of waste. So that is the first thing. And the second thing I got is also a soap, but I bought this for my hands. Oh, my hands are all soap now. So this one is called Sultana of Soap and it's like a little flower design. And this was only £3.85. So for that price you can't really complain at all because again it is quite quite a big chunk of a bath bomb on that one there. Um, so yeah as I said this one with £3.85, pence. there's olibamum oil, dried currants, dried cranberries, bergamot oil and dried apricots in this. The dried apricots work as a little exfoliation but it's like a very creamy um, luxury type of soap so I don't really think it's going to cause too much exfoliation um, but yeah you can use this on your body but as I said I'm just going to sit it by my sink in my wee soap dish um, and just use it on my hands because my hands do get very dry and the smell of this it's just it's very delicate it's not like a strong smell by all means it's just it's like a pretty Fragrance, I know that's quite hard to picture a pretty soap fragrance, but if you, if you go into the shop, just try it. Um, I'm sure in the shops it doesn't come like that. I think it's actually quite a big block and they just cut off how much you want. But as I said, since this was like an online order, I got my own little little one. So yeah, that is so yeah, that is Sultana of Soap. How pretty is that? Three other products here that are all bath bombs and during the week I had to actually go out and buy another big container for my bath bombs because I am actually running out of space rapidly with how many bath bombs I'm buying. So if you would like to see any skincare or hair care sort of uh, hauls next, you can let me know in the comments down below and I can purchase some of my favourite things from like skincare or hair care or whatever and then I can do a little haul with them. So if you'd be interested in seeing that, you can let me know in the comments down below or even like this video so that I know that you would like that type of thing. But anyway, we'll get on to these bath bombs. So the first one I've got here is absolutely beautiful and it's called, I think how you pronounce this is Shushime, the Shushime Butterfly Bath Bomb. And it's like a blue marble effect. And it's actually quite a big bath bomb again. 
So the main ingredients in this is lavender oil and chamomile blue oil and it does just smell like a lavender. It's not like twilight at all and it's not like the dream cream scent at all either, it's just like pure lavender. So this, I may actually use this one tonight because I'm off work tomorrow as it is my birthday tomorrow, April 10th. So I managed to get the day off work, which I'm so excited just getting a long lie. Who doesn't like a long lie on their birthday? So I might use this tonight so that I can get a nice, a nice sleep and a long lie in the morning. I love lavender. Lavender is one of my top scents ever. But yeah, I think that bath bomb was just too cute not to buy. So that one cost £4.95. So the next one we've got here is called Figaro Figaro Bath Bomb. This one's quite powdery. And so I've heard this one is quite good. See if you've got the flu or the cold. This one's quite good for opening up your airways. So in here there is eucalyptus oil, peppermint oil, sage oil and thyme oil. So it's a very, very herbal bath bomb and it is supposed to be very good for, as I said, if you've got the cold, you do really smell the peppermint oil and the eucalyptus in this. And this one was £3.95. It's quite a smaller bath bomb, but with the smell I'm sure it's going to pack a punch. And I've not seen any demos or anything on this one, so if you are wondering what this looks like in the bath, I could maybe do a little bath demo, show you what it makes the bath look like, what kind of colours come out or whatnot. So if you're interested in any bath bomb demos, you can let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to show you. So yeah, that is the Figaro Figaro bath bomb. And the last bath bomb I've got here is very, very glittery. If you do not like glitter, you will not like this one. But it is called the Lucky Cat Bath Bomb. Again, it's a bit smaller than the others. This one is £3.95 as well. In here there is Jasmine Absolute, Neroli Oil and Ylang Ylang. And again, it's just a lovely, fresh, floral type of smell. It's like a candle, almost. Is very very nice. Apparently this one produces fuchsia coloured waters and there is multicoloured stars inside here that pop out in the water so we'll see. Out of them all I think maybe this one might be my favourite scent wise from this little haul. I wish I could let you smell this through the camera can you imagine? We just go and have a wee smell see if you like that one. Oh look a bit of his ears missing. Yeah that is Lucky Cat bath bomb but it does produce quite a lot of glitter. I'm not sure if you can see. So that is that. So that is all I got in my order this time around. I'm thinking I'm going to try and step away from the bath bomb purchases as such until I can use more up. So as I said, if you would like any other hauls, you can let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to do them for you. So that is it from me today, guys. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I hope to see you back here on my channel again with me soon. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye.